You know, growing up, I always dreamt of being a part of the music business. It didn't matter in what capacity. I just wanted to be down. And I'm so blessed to be able to say that for the past 25 plus years, I've been living that dream. And today I'm going to share with you three tips on how you too can become a part of the freestyle music industry. So let's go. Hey, what's up freestylers? Latif here exploring with you the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle music. And every week on this channel, we discuss ways that we as a freestyle music community can recognize, define, and nurture the culture that we know lies within the genre. We'll also be talking with not only different artists and other freestyle personnel, but also some incredible fans in search of ideas that can help us resurrect the genre back to the way we remember it. Now, if you're new to this channel and feel like this is something that you can get down with, do me a favor and smash that like button. Also, if you click subscribe and the little bell beside it, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. When I was in my teens, every Wednesday, I would take a trip into Manhattan just to pick up a free copy of The Village Voice. For those who don't know what that is, uh, The Village Voice was this really weird newspaper. Uh, it was pretty thick. It featured a lot of new artists, very artsy-like, some really bugged out stories, and of course, some really crazy-ass advertisements. The paper was free, but I would have gladly paid for it if it would have saved me the trip to Manhattan, but it wasn't available where I live. In fact, I think it was only available in Manhattan. Anyone who was into the arts back in the 80s or 90s knew about The Voice, but I don't remember ever reading any of the articles. Now, the reason why I picked up a copy of The Voice every Wednesday was for none other than the classified ads in the back of the paper. These tiny bolded ads that saturated the last few pages. Now the difference between the classifieds in The Voice and other newspapers were the type of jobs being offered. A few of the jobs that I remember being advertised were like rapper wanted, ticket booth attendant for Triple X Theater, maintenance person for gay bar, bouncer for strip club, and male escort. And yeah, I applied for all of them and what's funny is the only one that ever called me back was for the male escort. But the old German woman that I assigned me to was kind of scary, so I ended up abandoning her in Times Square. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, besides, I really wanted a job that was somehow connected to the music industry. It didn't matter how. I just knew that if I got myself into the circle, that I would be able to navigate myself around until I found my place. Hey, if you used to read The Voice back in the days, comment below and tell me what some of those crazy ads are that you remember. So from a very early age, I knew that I wanted to be a part of the music business. And eventually I found my way and we'll get into that a little bit more at another time. But the point that I'm trying to make is that there are ways for anyone who's really interested to break into the business. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips that I believe will help you break into the business, but you gotta be patient. Tip number one, find an artist online that you truly admire and help promote them. Nowadays with social media, this is very easy and it can be done from the comforts of your own home. Now I'm gonna put this disclaimer up front and this applies to all three tips. Please do not expect to get paid at least not right away. But if you focus and create quality and consistent content for that artist, you will be noticed. Not only by that artist, but also by other artists, as well as fans and promoters. Please, whatever you do, don't spam their pages. Don't mention your motive to anyone and don't try to contact the artist. Listen, this market isn't that big. If you're making valuable noise, you will be noticed. They will spot you. What you want to make sure though is accuracy. You don't want to promote a show that maybe it's been canceled or was unauthorized. You also want to make sure you're using the original artist. You don't want to promote a show with a phony. Now there's a couple of things that could go on with this. Number one of course is the actual artist that you're promoting can spot this and this can happen right away or it can take time. So patience is very, very important. And keep this in mind, if that artist that you're promoting isn't acknowledging you, then there's a good chance another one might. So always be open. Tip number two, offer road management services for free. Yeah, I know I advise a lot of people to give up free shit, but it's important 
at the beginning, I gave up a lot of free shit, a lot of free services, a lot of free time. You gotta keep in mind that these are dream jobs and there's a lot of people out there dreaming about them. So if you want the opportunity, you better be ready to serve by providing exceptional and reliable service. It's all about value, folks. You gotta give value. Believe me when I tell you, this can result in a paying gig almost immediately because good road managers are really hard to find. And when it comes to road managers, it really isn't about skill or knowledge. That you can learn on the road. What's most important is being trustworthy and reliable. In other words, always be available and never miss a show. Being on the road for a while will eventually establish you as a road manager. And while on the road, you're gonna meet so many artists and you're gonna meet them so many times that you're gonna get familiar and they're gonna get familiar with you. When I was on the road, I was, I've been offered road management jobs from practically every artist out there. Cause I'm good at what I do. Being on the road for a while will establish you as a road manager and you're gonna meet lots of other artists. In time, those meetings will be more frequent and depending on how busy your primary artist is, you might be able to offer your services to other artists. And you'll be surprised at how receptive that offer will be. But I will advise you this, is consult with your primary artist. You don't wanna diss them and you always wanna make them priority. Tip number three is get into the promotions game. Flyers are posted all over social media. Reach out to those promoters and offer your service for free. Yep, I know there's that word again, but that's the way this game is played. Gotta get into the circle. Once you get into the circle, then you can move around and find your place. Listen, promoters have a lot of work and very little manpower. So make yourself valuable, multitask. Do the things that they don't want to do. Some of the jobs that you can offer are things like handling their social media. If you do graphics, create their flyers. Got a driver's license? Go pick up the artist at the airport. Work stagehand, set up the mic, set up the club, help with the flight, set up the hotel, execute their riders, be a runner. Do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes and do what you can to spoil that promoter. Set yourself up so that promoter feels that he can't even do his job right without you. Or you might want to jump in with two feet. Try promoting yourself. Listen, when it comes to freestyle, it's more doable than you can imagine. I have a book out on Amazon called Freestyle Promotions and the Seven Simple Steps to Getting Started. You might want to check that out. So here's a question for you. Have you ever thought about getting involved in the music business? If so, what kept you from moving forward? Or if you're already involved in the business, I'd like to know what it is that you do and how did you break in? Your answer to this question will become the springboard to many discussions about this topic and eventually end only with your help will we finally discover the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle music. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this video and if it made any kind of sense to you, that thumbs up will let me know. And if you hit subscribe and the little bell beside it, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Hey, my name is Latif Mercado, and until next time, keep it real, keep it peace, and remember, freestyle for life.